Hello guys, welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles and another episode of Hanks TV. Today we're going to talk about putting primers in the brass modules that I make. I've had some guys call and ask, once you buy a gun and you get the thing, you pretty much know how easy it is and how simple they are to do. But for the new guy that don't have a gun, he's never seen it in operation, he don't really know how to do it, I've had him ask me that question. So I'm going to make a short little video on how to put primers in the modules. Now there's two different ways you can do it. It's just like priming a 308 rifle cartridge case or a 4570, the case may be if you've got the brake action ignition system. It's pretty simple though. You'll take one of the brass modules, which if you look at this end of it, you'll swear it's a rifle cartridge. Looks like a 308 cartridge case. And the primer goes in there. So if you got a reloading press, you can do this at home, you can do it at the range. If you've got a press, you just simply take your little priming arm. This little priming arm comes with just about every reloading press that you're going to buy. It's going to have one of these little arms in there. And that's your priming arm that holds the primer. You'll put your primer in that priming arm, face up, and then you just put that in and you push it in. Now your primer is in that pocket. So to do another one, it's just as simple as just repeating the process. Put the primer in, push the handle, primer goes in, do another one. Push the handle, primer goes in. So that's how you do it if you have a reloading press. Now, just about everybody out there that makes reloading equipment makes a little handheld priming tool. Now this thing has been through the mill. Both the ears are broke off of the sides of it. That's why I've got the tape on here to hold this cover on. I don't use it much anymore with a bunch of primers in it. I just put the primers in one at a time, especially for these muzzle loaders. So what I'll do is if you can see the end here, you set a primer right in the end, face up, take your brass module, slide it in there, and push it all the way in. So that's how you prime the brass modules with a handheld priming tool. This is my preferred way of doing it. I don't use the reloading press very often. I just wanted to show you guys that for the option if you don't have one of these handheld priming tools. But the handheld tool is probably the fastest. You can see how quick I can prime these. This is a Lee tool. It's probably the cheapest one out there and it, that's probably why the, the ears are broke off of it. Uh, RCBS makes a good one and Hornady makes one. So you just need a handheld priming tool guys. That's as easy as it gets. Primers are in. When you're done you can knock them out and reprime them. It's that easy. So. These brass modules will last over and over and over again as long as you don't lose them. You don't need the 25. I know um, some guys have had the same 25 primer modules since they bought their gun. They've had their guns for years now. So that's it, guys. Give me a thumbs up on the videos if you like them. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.